huge now. But um, yeah, uh, the set system uh, allows for those um, those mistakes that, that maybe you can make to, to disappear, um, and then you can always come back and uh, win the match. Well, we'll start off with the women's team bronze medal match, and it will be number six Russia taking on number five Japan. Russia, the sixth seeded team after going through the ranking rounds this week, and they were able to work their way through those rounds with a 6 nothing win over Ukraine. Then they won a shoot-off with Germany, then got shut out by China, 6 to nothing. Let's meet the team from the Russian Federation as they line up here on the shooting line in Antalya. And from left to right, Tatiana Segina on your left, Ksenia Parova in the middle, and on your right, Ina Stepanova. All of them excellent shooters, excellent young shooters, I should say, ranging in age from 22 to 25 years of age. And they will take on a team from Japan that comes in seated fifth after the ranking rounds. Japan defeating Poland 5 to 1, knocked off Mexico 5 to 1 in a shootoff, and then lost to Korea 6 to nothing. We'll meet their trio of competitors in just a moment. And again, another very young, but very experienced, very talented team from Japan. And from left to right. <laughs> Hayakawa Ren on your left, 26 years old. Hayashi Yuki on your right. And Kawanaka Kiori in the middle. So we're just about set to go. Just to recap, so far in the World Cup campaign, Shanghai, stage one, Japan, led by Hayakawa Ren, beat Mexico. Then at stage two, Medellin, it was Korea knocking off Mexico. Six to two, the score there. Zhu Hun Jung, Jung De Somi, and Lee Tuk Young winning the bronze medal down in Colombia. But here it's Russia taking on Japan for the bronze medal. And you always want to get off to the great start, but that's easier said than done, Larry. Oh, definitely. Um, you know, the first start, the first start out in the field today, um, the first shot. Is, uh, there's a bit of pressure on, but I'm sure I've seen this. This is a great shooter. I've seen her shoot um, some fantastic scores before, and we'll see on this uh, first hour now what the wind's doing. It's a good shot. It's a nine. You know, as I said today, I think this breeze is gonna is gonna drift them maybe around the nine ring. Um, it's a right to left breeze. And that arrow went left, so she didn't aim off enough. <laughs> Simple as that, really. And we'll and see if her teammate adjusts. Now, she did adjust. She did adjust, but, but maybe too much. Mm -hmm. um, you can see all the wind socks and the flags. I mean, they're great indicators running down the range. Um, but, but it is changing, this, this condition, this weather. The wind is variable, as they say. So kind of all over the map right now. Yeah. Which is not unusual <laughs> for that first volley. Yeah, that's definitely right. You sort of settle in and get your feet, you know, you find out, you know, the, the condition and, and the, the format of everything and you get settled in. Stepanova nine. shooting first for the Russian Federation, nails a nine. That was a strong shot because she shot up wind then, so uh, she, well, she went right and then if the wind had, had um, picked up, she would have drifted in. That's a good shot. Now Prova, also in the nine ring. And a good look at Tatiana Segina, ranked 57th in the world. Just inside the line. Good shot, yeah. So an excellent start for the Russian Federation. They take a two-point lead midway through the first set. Two points awarded to the winner of each set. If they tie, they split the set points. And the first to five points overall in the match is the winner. Nice. Nicely done by Hayakawa Ren, a team bronze medalist in London. Oh, nice, nice. They are strong, the Asian girls. I mean, you got Korea trying in the final. And um, Japan, obviously now. Shooting well, you know, they're, they're pulling it back now. Nice. Ooh, this is just out, yeah. Close. Almost three straight tens to finish off that set. That shouldn't be a nine star, that's definitely a nine. Hayashi Yuki. 
just outside the 10 ring. Nine. So now Stepanova with her second nine of the first set. And Ksenia Perova, 14th in the world. Good shot, good shot. That's a pressure shot, that was. Kind of breaks the ice for the Russian Federation, their first 10 of the match. Yeah. Takes the, eases the pressure off the last archer, because really all she needs to shoot is a nine now to, to, to win the set. And she's a <laughs> she shot the 10, even better. Beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. Tatiana Sagina coming through with a big shot right there to give the set to the Russian Federation. And so, the Russian Federation grabbing an early 2-0 lead. Once again, though, just to bring you up to date, this is a new change this year. It used to be cumulative scoring. And now, this year, here in recurve competition for the team matches, and this includes mixed team competition as well, which we'll see this afternoon. It has gone to the set system, so the winner of each set gets the two points, and as I mentioned a moment ago, if they tie, they split those points, and whoever reaches five first... That's correct. They're the big winner. They're, they're the winners. And the good thing about this now is the, the Japanese could have missed every single arrow on that first set and still only be two sets points down. So, yeah, where, where before it was all about the cumulative score, so if you had a bad shot... You, or you missed were, a shot. Or missed a shot, yeah, you were, you know, you were heavily penalized. Whereas now it's gone, it's done. Um, they're two 0 up, and it's reset and start again. Um, it's a good format. This would be good uh, boost for the Russian team um, ahead of the European Championships, which is in a month's time in Armenia. So this is, you know, they're the highest European seeded team here um, in these finals. I said, like I said before, with the, the three other Asian countries. Um, let's see how this set goes. So Hayakawa Ren stepping up to the line, a team bronze medalist at the Olympic Games in London, as we mentioned, also won a team bronze medal to start off this 2014 season at stage one in Shanghai. And from 70 meters away, comes up with a nine. Kawanaka Kiyori who captured a team silver medal here in Antalya last year. Yes, 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 yes. Pretty close, Larry. Oh, close. I look, looking at that from my, my view, that looks like. <laughs> <laughs> I'd call it in, obviously. The archers always give the other archers the benefit of the doubt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no doubt about that shot. Hayashi Yuki with a nine. Japan trying to battle back, tie up this match to a piece. Russia seems strong at the moment. Nine. Yeah. They have seemed strong all weekend long. Yeah, definitely. Watching them in compound yesterday, two big gold medals there. Yep, yep. They're uh, certainly doing something right. Avdiva winning the gold medal in the women's competition and the women. Eight. And the Russian men defeating the uh, U.S. men. Yeah, in compound competition. Yeah, that was a big set. Yeah. Yeah. So here's Sagina again. So I tend to tie this up. Eight. Ooh. Off the mark, leaks into the eight ring. So Japan one up with three arrows to go in this set. And it's back to Hayakawa Ren. Nine. So Japan shot. very consistent. Yeah, not a strong shot. It's very happy, Hayakawa. I like that. When you shoot like that, it's easier to be happy. That's very true. <laughs> <laughs> As you well know. Nice. Ooh. Okay, okay. Do you know what? That arrow could have pushed that other arrow in. That's remarkable, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Maybe she thought that. Maybe she thought, do you know what? You think that's, that's what she was going for? I, I need to touch <laughs> this one in. <laughs> Look like a shish kebab. <laughs> okay, okay. Mm, that makes things interesting. The 27 points will tie it. Possibility of and split the set. I think that might be a 53, you know. Could be. Yeah. 
Stepanova Ten. on target. Nice. Nice. Stepanova, a very accomplished archer. Won the gold medal at stage three, Medellin last year in Colombia. Now Parova. Nine. It's a strong shot. Parova, fifth individually at the London Olympic Games. And the 22-year-old Sagina. So now we have to wait and see. Yeah, I'm gonna go with a, uh, a title. Okay, now yesterday with Lucy O'Sullivan <laughs> and uh, Nikki Hunt, you know, yeah. we were wagering pints. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, now you're talking Care to wager? Yes. <laughs> Makes things more interesting. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, just a pint though, just a pint. <laughs> Right now, on paper, it looks as though the Russian Federation has taken that set and has a commanding 4 nothing lead in the match. We'll have to wait and see, though. Unless, of course, they've already made the decision down there. It's tough for us from our vantage point to tell what the judges are doing, but I would imagine they're inspecting those shots very, very closely. Yeah, definitely. I mean, they work very, very close. They said uh, that, that first arrow, um, when it was shot, I thought was slightly out, but then when that second arrow, collided with that first arrow. I think it nudged it. Just, just a tad. Just a tad and just in. But um, the judges are down there. They make the final decisions. Um, so we, uh, we should see what they say now. Along with Larry Gottfried from Great Britain, I'm Carl Arkey. Hope you're enjoying our live coverage here on worldarchery.org. Recurve Sunday here in Antalya, Turkey, stage three of the 2014. Outdoor World Cup campaign brought to you by our wonderful sponsors, including Kia, Sport Toto, Vila, Turkish Airlines, Hoyt Bows, Easton Arrows, Long Jeans, and hopefully I'm not leaving anybody out. We appreciate all our sponsors who help make all this possible. So it looks like that was out, that arrow, because um, we got a 4 0 set points at the moment. Japan really need to come back strong now to try and uh, save this match. Eight points. They might not do it. Not the start they were looking for from Hayakawa Ren, trailing 4 0. But the beauty of the set system is all is not lost. Nice. Good shot. But Japan in a position right now, Larry, where they cannot afford to split. They've got to win sets outright. 100%, yeah. Any split now will give the Russian Federation the match. They need to keep the pressure on. I don't think that is going to do it. This Russian team. That's not the shot that puts the pressure on, yeah. No, this Russian team that are here now are, um, I think, are stronger than that. They'll definitely step up to the challenge. Japan not looking quite as strong as they did in Shanghai at stage one, and Russia really coming on strong right now. Stepanova, an outstanding archer, gold medalist at stage four in Shanghai in 2011. Won a team gold medal in Ogden, Utah, 2012. And has had success here on the beach here before. Back in 2009, she picked up a team silver medal and she picked up two silver medals in 2010. Now she's working with two other strong archers, Parova and this young lady, Tatiana Sagina. Nine. Much stronger shooting. Yep, definitely. They've got a one point lead. Remember, all they need to do is tie this set. So they're in a, they're in a very, very strong position. The need, Japan need to put the pressure on. They need the tens. With their backs against the wall, Japan continues to shoot eights. That's three right now in this set. All around the target, yeah. Kawanaka Kaori, who is on the Olympic team that won a bronze medal in London. A little bit better with that nine. Saiko. 
And what could be the final shot of this match for Japan? Hayashi Yuki, ranked 46th in the world, and another eight. Another eight, 51 in. That's not going to cut it, I don't think, on these final field. Um, looking at their scores, um, that's one of the lowest sets they've shot throughout the whole competition. Um, so, of course, when you get out here, it's a whole different ball game. Yes, it definitely is. Oh, oh what a fantastic. shot! Fantastic. What a shot! Fantastic. Stepanova sticks it. So we've got commanding lead now, 37, two hours to shoot. Parova puts that's it just nine. outside. Is I it on? Th I think that's in. That's in. I think it's biting. Yeah. It's got to be I'm going with Larry Gutfrey. And Russia is going with Tatiana Segina, who puts it away. That's it. Yep, they've won. Fantastic shooting from the Russian team. It's ahead of uh, the European champs. This is a great, um, great win, uh, win for them. It's a, it's a real confidence yeah. boost, isn't it, Larry? Oh, 100 uh, percent. It's exactly what you need, you know. Um, the World Cup. This is fantastic for them to get in the medals. They look happy. And they should be happy. Yep. It's been a great week for Team Russia. Again, they defeated Ukraine six to nothing, then won a shoot off with Germany. Those are always a big boost for your confidence as well. Then they got shut out by China six nothing, which may have taken a little confidence away, but didn't appear to be that way in this match. Not, not even from the start. Right well, from the start, yeah. they seemed to be very confident. Yeah, they were on it from the start. They were, they were more um, centered, I think, with their, with their grouping. Um, they didn't have the, the, the weight with arrows. Like Japan had a lot more aches, I think, than the, the Russian Federation. I said this breeze, uh, you know, is not really picking up uh, a, a great deal. Um, I think it's enough, to said, like I said earlier, to move them.